Have you ever been defeated by an unbelievably skilled player? It makes you wonder whether it's talent or cheating. We urge all players to rally against cheaters, but not to mistreat abiding players in the process. Today, we'd like to show you how to distinguish between cheaters and normal players. First, we'll enter spectate mode to observe how other players play the game. We'll play several clips of some players and demonstrate whether or not they've been cheating. First, let's watch this clip. It seems like the player is cheating, right? In reality, he isn't. In the clip, the player was able to defeat his opponent even though his character's crosshair was positioned at the top right of his opponent. This could hinder our final judgment of this player, however, the real reason behind the situation is a significant screen shift in crosshair displacement due to latency when the player enters scope mode. Because spectate mode happens in real time, player actions are first collected by the system and uploaded to the server, and then sent by the server to spectators' devices. A difference in FPS may occur. If spectators are watching in a place with poor connectivity, subsequently clouding their judgment of the situation. This clip is similar to the previous one in that the player's character was able to follow his opponent and the damage effects appeared within the crosshair, even though there was a discrepancy between the opponent and the crosshair. Therefore, we can determine that the situation was caused by latency, leading to a difference in FPS. In a similar situation, if the damage effects appeared on the opponent rather than the crosshair, that would be suspicious, and we would need to check for other anomalies, such as defeating opponents with significant crosshair displacement. If you witness this behavior, do not hesitate to report the player. We'll show you real violations in the next four clips. First of all, we see in this clip that the player's crosshair quickly shifted to a nearby non-visible target after defeating an opponent with an AKM. This is a classic example of auto-aiming behavior. When auto-aiming is used, players are able to automatically take aim at another target after defeating one, even if the target is concealed behind cover or in a non-visible location. When such behavior appear, we can immediately assume that the player is cheating. In the second clip, we see a player defeating a long-range player with aim assist while on the move. This behavior is suspicious, but we cannot be certain that the player is cheating. However, the player's crosshair instantly shifted to above the opponent. There was an obvious recoil, which is the typical behavior of auto-aiming. After defeating an opponent with auto-aiming, the cheat instantly releases recoil when another target is not found. The immense recoil causes the crosshair on the muzzle to move upwards. In the third clip, we see a player lock on an opponent by using the footsteps on the minimap and immediately start shooting. The player is able to lock and follow targets concealed by objects, which is in line with the feature of the wall hacks. If you encounter such behaviors, do not hesitate to report the player. In the final clip, we see that three opponents appear in the player's field of view, numbered 1, 2, and 3 from left to right. However, the order in which the player defeated the targets was 2, 1, and 3. The player selected target 1 after defeating target 2, rather than targeting target 3, which was already in view. The player's crosshair also jumped to target 3 immediately after defeating target 1. This behavior is also a classic example of auto-aiming. When using auto-aiming, the cheat chooses the next closest target, regardless of visibility. Then, it quickly targets the next target after the first one is defeated. The movement of the crosshair occurs almost instantly after the elimination broadcast. Taking all three of these behaviors into account, it is clear that the player was cheating. Of course, when a player is reported, our BanPan security system carries out a secondary review to make sure that the player is indeed cheating. In this video, we showcase several suspicious behaviors often misinterpreted as cheating, as well as provided instances where auto-aiming and other cheats were used. Hopefully this video will help you better identify suspicious behavior. Justice is everywhere. We will preserve.